Welcome back, everyone. Uh, I'm going to be working between two computers here, so forgive me as I go back and forth between the two. Um, I uh, recently sent an, uh, a kind of a broadcast email to friends and family uh, regarding the uh, title of the topic that uh, is on this video. And uh, uh, a friend uh, responded back to me, and I'm going to read you my response to him. What he said was, uh, I don't see it happening in the near future. Uh, this is, of course, regarding the uh, end of the dollar as the world's reserve currency. So, here's my response to him. I don't know when it'll happen, but it will happen, probably within 10 years. It will happen slowly because the BRICS countries, South Africa has been added to BRIC, uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, uh, because the BRICS countries don't want to cause a worldwide panic. It has already started, that is to say, the process of ending the dollar as the world's reserve currency. Uh, the BRICS World Development Bank uh, is a beginning. Uh, China suggesting that the dollar should go. France and Germany talking about it. China is accumulating gold at an unprecedented rate. Europe as a whole has more gold than the U.S. Uh, at one time, uh, the USA had 80% of the world's gold. It's only a matter. Of, uh, excuse me. It's only a matter of time. Michael Hudson, a leftist economics professor, agrees with the rightist economist and New York Times best-selling author of Currency Wars and the Death of Money, James Rickards. Uh, he's on YouTube, by the way. Uh, you should uh, look him up. Uh, <clears throat> he, he's, <laughs> he, he's got quite a view on this uh, whole topic. Anyway, Hudson and uh, Rickards agree. The dollar is essentially done. It's over. It's toast. Most Americans appear to be oblivious to all this. Bread and circuses seem to be distracting them. The Fed tanked the economy, rescued the bankers, and totally debased the dollar. Predictions now are that QE4 is coming shortly, the fourth round of quantitative easing, easing excuse me, quantitative easing. Uh, you know, printing money, flooding the market with money, money out of thin air. Uh, <clears throat> more debasement of the dollar by the Fed. Those predictions are by economists on the right and on the left. QE4 will prop up the stock market, but further devalue the dollar. The rich will get richer. Cheap money will enable Wall Street speculative banks to invest in more BS financial derivatives, which produce zero jobs, by the way, and debt will increase. Now, right now, there's 1.25 quadrillion dollars worth in derivatives already out there in the market. It's the biggest bubble of them all. <clears throat> all of the above encourages other countries to dump the dollar, especially when a big part of our debt is for military bases and wars to surround other countries. At least that's how many of them see it. Especially uh, China, Russia, Iran, uh, Pakistan, Venezuela. I I'm guessing the first thing 
to go uh, will be the petrodollar and then eventually the dollar in general. Now, it won't be the end of the world. <laughs> Don't think that. Uh, some of these uh, videos here on YouTube are quite good about all this. Uh, some of them are a little bit, uh, I don't know, over the top, exaggerated, something like that. Uh, it won't be the end of the world. Out of the ashes will come another Ponzi scheme, similar to the one the Fed Reserve has been running since 1913. Uh, and then I say to this uh, organic farmer friend of mine, uh, in uh, Northern California. Unlike you, most Americans will be hurting badly. They depend almost entirely on fiat paper money. The transition to the next Ponzi scheme may take months or even a couple of years. Uh, most likely I will have left my physical shell by then but I'm concerned uh, for my grandchildren. Meanwhile, too many Americans appear to be squabbling over meaningless political parties, hot-button issues such as gay marriage or marijuana, or which football team is the best. <clears throat> All this while the Fed continues to ruin the dollar and prop up mega-speculative bankers, uh, Military spending not only dwarfs any other spending, but also pisses off more and more countries. The NSA spies on our allies. Uh, Germany is especially fed up with that. Most jobs created appear to be low-paying or temporary or part-time, and American deindustrialization continues. Never mind that the Constitution, in large part, essentially is trashed. Or that basically the same thing which caused the 2008 crisis is happening again. Only this time it will probably be worse. Ain't life a hoot? I have to admit, I find it all absolutely fascinating. You all be well. I'll uh, see you next time. Let me get out of here. Okay. Take care.